Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about increasing your value to a company. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what is an example of proving your increased value to a company? Maybe this is straightforward, but I am a computer science student, so I don't want to make any ignorant assumptions. Well, usually there's a few things that you can tell your manager and I'm assuming here that this is in a sort of salary discussion type of thing or you're trying to prove that you have an increased impact and therefore you should get a promotion or res increased responsibilities or something good like that. So under normal circumstances your manager is going to look for you having a positive impact on the workspace. Now positive impact is not just that you code faster than everybody else. That is something that you can say, of course. So a very good statement would be something along the lines that, well, I finish stories much quicker now than I used to. And as long as you can sort of prove that or your manager has noticed it, which hopefully if they're paying attention, they should, well, that's a good argument, right? But it's not the only thing because that's the, the very one dimensional mindset of a lot of people and in some cases it is true but in a lot of cases it's much broader and, and uh, more diverse than that because apart from writing code really fast you can make things you can make statements such as well I actually I put some eff extra effort in into the project and I actually built this tool or I built this thing that made everybody more pro uh, productive. That's also, I hope, not much of a stretch. You invent, you create some internal tool or some process or maybe you come with a suggestion that, I don't know, you uh, figure out that, well, if we just skip, I don't know, I'm not saying that you should do that, but let's say that you invent the automatic way of uh, checking something that it fails quite often well, all of a sudden you have automated that process and it no longer takes a lot of time. Or you build something that helps the salespeople make, I don't know, invoices faster or something like that. That's something you can say as well. It's, it's easy, like you're actually now saving time for the company, which is something that they're gonna value. Other things that you can say is that you have a really good eye for quality where you can state that your uh, usually the work that you produce is very high quality and the customer is really satisfied so customer satisfaction and that you're actually producing really well is it's it's a very good thing you can also spin that you now know more and that you actually have a, a greater impact on the work that is being done at the company in other words do people come to you for advice do they want to involve you in discussions does the stakeholders like do they come to you with questions and can you answer those questions is your knowledge of the domain that you're dealing with a higher that's also a very big one where and you will notice that because that's constant cuts into the uh, takes uh, in that thing that i really like to use as a as the main driver uh, around your career which is impact impact is the most important thing that you can go for if you want to be in a really strong position career-wise where the more involved you are the more critical you are the better for you. Your negotiation position is always uh, stronger the more impact you have. The lower your impact is, the, m the less it matters. What you think and what uh, if you quit or not. Impact is everything. So apart from that you can also of course, and this is something that a lot of people don't appreciate, you can actually state that you have a very positive impact on your coworkers. In other words that people liked working with you. That you actually are involved in initiatives and you actually drive innovation and you drive interest between your coworkers. This is not true in every single company, but in startups, as an example, this is a big thing. I mean, you can in many cases be a fairly average coder. I mean, it's not like you can be a really bad one, but you can be an average coder and be involved in setting up workshops and helping people out with uh, initiatives like, I don't know, after work parties. You can be involved with raising the spirit of your company. And that's something that also has a benefit to the to the company. So the main thing that I want you to think about is in terms of positive impact on the company. Don't narrow your arguments or the things that you suggest that uh, you're doing better to your manager or so forth to be something that's just this churning things out quickly. 
it's not the only thing an employer is going to value in an, uh, in an employee. Pro I promise you that's not the, not the case. There are absolutely situations where that's not true, but for most normal workplaces, pl places of work, they look at more than how many lines of code that you produce in a week. I promise you that they look at more than that. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you want some concrete things that you can say in a salary negotiation position, the red thread is to always go from a for goal and state something along the lines that I was doing this or this was the situation before I did something or before and now the situation is this and it has to move in a positive direction it doesn't have to just be how much t how fast you deliver things it can be the quality of the work that you do it can be the the domain knowledge like how much you know and like how many many people depend on you it can be how how happy do you make people around you do you have a positive impact in the office and always like uh, always go from that 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 source thought that it used to be one way and now it's better because and then have some proof for that usually you need some way of m making the your manager feel like you they actually can validate or can relate to yeah no actually you are right you, you it's it's true that a lot of people depend on you or it's true that a lot of the customers have a lot of good things to say about you these are the sorts of thing that you're, the things you are looking for if you want to make strong arguments that you are now more valuable to the company that you are working at have a great day